Good day, Gemini. Uh, before we start our reading, let us uh, read a uh, lively description of your horoscope. Uh, it says here, Have you ever been so busy that you wish you could clone yourself just to get everything done? <laughs> That's the Gemini experience in a nutshell. Spontaneous, playful, and adorably erratic, Gemini is driven by its insatiable curiosity. Appropriately symbolized by the celestial twins, this air sign was interested in so many pursuits that it had to double itself. Okay, very interesting. I will put the link to this description uh, in our uh, in the description box of our video today. Okay, and. Uh, because yeah, if we speak of twins, now we have here the major arcana symbol of the Gemini is the lovers. Okay, so um, in a certain sense, uh, uh, the lovers can just not symbolize romance. No, it can also symbolize uh, twins at the same time. It can also in the family it can symbolize a twin, but it can also be it can also symbolize your inner and your your inner self and your physical self no? so it can also symbolize like that but the beautiful thing about it is that feminine side of you is the one that is oftentimes more in the receptive mode <clears throat> the masculine side of you is more of the <clears throat> proactive aggressive mode no so as you can see here the male is drawn towards the feminine side he move he says tendency to move forward the feminine is more on the receptive side. She's just in the waiting mode. She's waiting for the male to approach. At the same time, she's also in the receptive side to the point that she is the one who is aware of the presence of the divine or the presence of the spirit realm in her life. Uh, the male is more of fire and drawn to, uh, well, suddenly what came to my mind is sexuality okay so these are aspects which can be considered as aspects of our personality and these are essentially all good aspects of us and when they work together when they both the masculine and the feminine side the uh the the uh, more forward uh forward moving side and the receptive side uh, the more aggressive side and the little bit more receptive side, uh, the more fiery side and the more productive side, all these are parts of our personality. And if we are able to have good communication with each other and it is even blessed by the presence of the divine, then we have a healthy and productive person. So this is what I see right now. No? Uh, when I see the card of the lovers, I see a person who has a balance between his masculine and feminine side. Actually, there is this union, uh, there is this uh, collaboration between these different aspects of the person, which is also blessed by the presence of the spirit in their life. And uh, when it is balanced, no? they are not too much affected by the temptations of low energies they are more uh, influenced by the presence of the high energy of the spirit so this is a good reflection that we can get now oftentimes uh, i feel gemini have this ability to balance things ability to unite the different aspects of their personality to the point that they are able to work uh, these aspects of their person are able to have this unity that uh, Gemini's are able to really work uh, with a lot of things uh, they really tend to become very creative because the different aspects of their personality always contribute to whatever project they put their mind into uh, Seldom there are there any clashes in their personality, so uh, they easily get an idea and every part of their being is able to contribute to the fulfillment of whatever inspiration there is. Okay, now uh, we go to the reading. What we will do right now, the, 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 the reading is entitled, Search for 
the lovers or find find the lovers okay so what we will do is a little bit different from uh, the usual reading of the card we are going to hide the card of the lovers and then, we, and then we will shuffle it about four to five times and then afterwards we will look for the lovers in the deck of the car in the deck of cards and then if we find the lovers we will get four cards the four cards previous to the card of the lovers and, and then get also the four cards after the card of the lover the lovers and then we will ask the lovers to give us a story and that story will be the reading for you today okay so that is two times already this is the third one so we'll shuffle it around four times so this is the third time and then this is the fourth time okay so what you have here right now are four decks of oracle cards the first one is the shaman's dream oracle and then we have the cosmic reading cards and then we have the archangel oracle cards and then the archangel animal oracle cards we just arrange it so that we can see them now. so this will be our this will be the cards that will give us the message of the universe i don't know why i found myself shuffling it again well there, be. there must be a reason okay so let us see what happened in your recent past okay the thoughts and feelings that came to me I felt a little bit uncomfortable when I saw this one. It made me feel that somehow in your recent past, somebody did something sneaky. It's as if somebody took something from you and it made you a little bit guarded. A little bit guarded. However, it seems that somebody came into your life and this somebody is giving you something that is she's rep that this person whether it is a male or a female we see here yeah very much close oh why did i do that we're supposed to look for the lovers mm -hmm. now i'm confused okay we let it be and then we're going to look for the lovers maybe this is the energy that they want us to have okay i don't know why i suddenly i was okay there has to be a reason why that happened okay because right now what i what i saw was that yeah uh, it's as if somebody you had you were in a relationship where somebody was just receiving things was just taking things and you felt short change in the relationship so it made you guarded as a person but somebody came along to you right now and is trying to offer you unconditional love a love that is balanced somehow it made me feel that you are a little bit guarded with this new person because of the past experiences you had i don't know why suddenly we're supposed to do it the different way so let's see maybe this is the main energy and maybe it is what is related in your germinal i'm sorry suddenly i found myself yeah well gemini please clarify maybe they the, maybe the if we find the lovers they will clarify it things for us so here here is the lover okay okay so there is a sudden change i'm sorry i didn't know how it happened okay so let's see huh this is quite unusual so that's four cards before and four cards after maybe that's the main energy of the card okay so in the recent past we have this one Maybe it's good to put this one here. 
sorry I need to move it a little bit more a little bit more and here okay so I think this is the recent recent past and then this is the recent past the present and the proximate future okay I don't know maybe why I made that mistake but maybe there is a reason for it okay so what happened is immediately I saw somebody you might be in a relationship before where you feel that there is an imbalance in the relationship okay and it made you guarded but somebody is coming into your life somebody who has yeah makes you a, be a, something that it seems to be blessed by the divine <clears throat> and it's a an equal give and take <clears throat> actually there is this unconditional love no and uh, you see that the, the clothes are patterned it's it makes me feel that mm, it's a masculine energy maybe you are in the feminine a energy this is i could be mistaken no it could be the other way around but what i'm feeling right now is that you are the feminine energy and then somebody is coming along and is offering you a cup but at the same time reaching out and asking you to share your cup also you see here the hand the hand of the person is moving forward towards the lady and he is offering his cup however it seems that the one who is okay wait 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 you look at it now uh, <laughs> maybe this is you I'm sorry no but I think this is you you know why because uh, I mean if it is you okay you try to look at it this way if this energy is the energy of this person who was uh, in a relationship wherein they are shortchanged. They are the ones who give and give and give and the other is take and take and take. Okay. And uh, it made this person or this energy more guarded. When you see here in the picture of the Two of Cups, this person is sort of moving forward but with a little bit of hesitation. He is reaching out for the other cup and he has hesitation of giving his cup so i feel this is the energy of this person while this other energy which is a feminine energy immediately gives the cup without expecting that this other cup will be given to her it's as if okay if you don't want to give me the cup it's okay i will give you this cup i am i am, i don't want you to fill up my cup uh, my cup is overflowing it's something like that so this is the communication that i have uh, the, the, the the conversation that is coming inside me uh, going around inside me so it seems like that no so it, this could be the energy of the person who has had this this experience and it seems that this one is the one who is giving unconditional love and this one who is a little bit uncertain but they have balanced things so they he has the capacity to give love unconditionally but he is a little bit guarded if they will give it no it's the same here you see here the similar gesture here so in the in the recent past you have the similar gesture um it's as if you are reaching out your hand you no know, like a widow you see here a widow somebody who has lost something you have lost something you have just I feel that you are in a rebound right now so I'm sorry you know for I'm thinking of a relationship right now no it's more of a relationship but it can be also in your career you might have been in a work setting wherein things are not balanced and now you are in a new work setting where the the situation is more you are in more in the receiving side but you are uh, a little bit uneasy to give your all because of the past experience you had in the work so it can be also like that so it seems you are in a mode wherein you are willing to give but uh, i mean you you are capable of giving but you want justice first you see here the truth you want the persons you are dealing with whether it be in work or in relationship you want them to be honest to you you want them you 
expect that they would be, for example, in the workplace, they will give equal share of the effort and you will give your equal share of the effort. Just like that. Okay, if you give me, if you are willing to work equally with me, then I will give you my best. Just like that. No. So there is a hand that is extending. <clears throat> this one, the hand is extending. It means uh, you are open to giving your best, but you exact that they also give their best to you because you have been hurt in the past you see here the widow's bracelet it's somebody who have lost something so you were hurt in the past now in the up in this the sky is clear up but there are still clouds below so it's like uh you have been a, you have had a cloudy past but the the future now is the the universe is clearing your future your present opening up your a bright and clear future for you uh, but the past is still influencing, so you are a little bit uneasy to do that. <clears throat> However, this other energy that is coming, no? <laughs> when you look at the pattern, it's the same. So I feel that it is the same energy, but I feel that because of the experiences that you are having with this person or this new company where you are working, where the environment is more of an unconditional giving and sharing, or if it is a relationship, the person is a person who is whose cup is overflowing and is giving you love unconditionally. This influence of whether this new company setting or this new working setting or this new person who has come into your life, they are now teaching you to let go of this <clears throat> a little bit, uh, a little bit. Uh, a uh, person who is a not trusting immediately, no, a little bit guarded spirit. You see here, it's gray. But <clears throat> in the as in the just before the present, it seems that it has changed already your personality. You are already becoming the fool who is again learning how to trust and becoming more creative and not and already you are able to again regain your inner child who is very creative uh, has already the sense of adventure not afraid to take risks anymore so this is a big contrast of what has happened in the past and your environment is very shiny you know? it's as if the whole universe has made it a very creative environment where you feel adventurous so here I guess they are both together so somehow this person or whatever it is the new working environment is changing you again to be more trusting to be more daring to try new things <clears throat> and you see here no this this is the gift that you are receiving right now with the universe <clears throat> you are again enjoying life but at the same time you are now a different person you are a person who exacts equal share so you're a person who gives unconditionally now I mean in, in the recent past from the recent recent past now this is the recent past you have become a person who gives love unconditionally but at the same time also accepts equal so you are i cannot say that it's boundaries maybe yes boundary but it's not just boundary it's uh you are a person not only with boundaries but a person also who expect others to give love equally or to work with you in an equal level where there's a give and take everyone contributes it's just, this is the atmosphere that you want and atmosphere that you expect now in the present moment it seems that it's not only the, this is your inner child no your inner child is slowly coming alive again and i feel that the inner child here now is yeah you at this present time it seems that you have almost completely healed from the past experience that you had okay and uh, <clears throat> it seems that uh yeah your inner child is here you are again able to trust you know but at the same time i yeah i cannot see any more swords here so now you're able to trust maybe it's because you are able to identify any already what kind of relationship is equal and somehow this relationship that you are in or whatever work situation you are in or what the group of friends that you have it is a uh, an environment that is filled or predominated with the spirit of unconditional loving and sharing 
And so now at this present time, this is the atmosphere that you are in. What a beautiful atmosphere that you are presently in. And you see here the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so if it is a, 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 a romantic or loving relationship, then you really found your match. And uh, for some of you, maybe you already have children now. <laughs> Or for some of you, you have the potential of having a family with happy children, a family that is filled with uh, filled with the presence of the divine, where both of you and your partner are looking at things positively. It can be also that you are in a career right now that is filled with love and you are happy. You and your family are happy because you are receiving what you deserve and uh, you are sharing also your best to your career so you are in a point in your life where you are giving your best and at the same time you are receiving the fruits of your labor and there is a happiness in your family setting or if you are single no there is happiness in you because you have time to nurture your inner self so it seems it seems that you are in the process of you have, so maybe that's the reason why we made an accident and we find I really don't know how it, it's as if suddenly uh, my thought, uh, train of thoughts were cut off and I found myself doing uh, these things automatically instead of chasing immediately for the lovers. There, there must really be a reason. Maybe we needed these other additional cards, additional three cards in order to see the whole story now i don't know why here in the next future you seem to be coming back to the same spirit that you had no in the proximate future i don't know what happened no but it seems that in the proximate future you will have some sleepless nights you will be worried again about something Could it be because there is a possibility that you will have this tendency to look back again to the past experience? Or could the past experience come back to you and haunt you? You are looking at spilled cups instead of these cups that are standing, no? And it is there beside you. And you are looking back. And again, you are again exacting justice exacting equal share in the relationship and in the workforce what i am feeling right now is that you know the approximate future that we see in the cards is only a possible future and what i feel right now is that this possible this is a possible future which you can avoid right now things are going well with you you are able to trust again. You are able to open up again. But if you would constantly look back to your past experience, this happy situation that you have at present, you can easily lose. Why? Because when you constantly look at the spilled cup, which could mean this past relationship or past working situation, that maybe in the past you thought was fulfilling for you but it made you you were in a in a work situation or a loving relationship or a friendship situation where it's not an equal one and but they had some good moments and I feel that you were look at you you have this temptation to constantly look back to what you have lost okay now if you will have give in to this temptation to look back on what you have lost this will be your proximate future you will constantly be troubled you won't be able to sleep well because you will keep on analyzing you will keep on what could have been if i had continued with it well things are already good in your life but you constantly go back to this one you constantly go back to this one and if you do that, if you constantly go back to this one, then you will not be trusting again. 
you will not have this kind of spirit of the fool you see here it's a, a gradual process you are already letting go and right now you achieve this stage but it's as if you are going back and forth you know you have a tendency to go back and forth you one day you will be very happy because of the beautiful relationship working relationship or friendship that you are have right now which is very fulfilling and then suddenly you look back again to the past and when you look back to the past you become again this person who is guarded this person who is wounded because of the experience so it's like a going back and forth <laughs> well it's sort of like the gemini spirit there's the black and the white and the uh, the positive and the negative you have this tendency to present and the past uh, so there's this danger in the proximate future to be in that kind of energy going back and forth going back and forth in in, in that situation now it seems that the the challenge for you is to turn your back to the past and to look to the present gifts that the universe is giving you which is this one don't uh, miss this beautiful gift that the universe is giving you right now you are already receiving you have already received a gift from the universe a relationship or a friendship or a working situation that is very much the opposite of the past that you had don't uh, the infinite i feel that you should not look back to the past or else you will end up with this possible future turn around look at these new gifts that you are having so that you will continue to have this one uh, close the old chapter and concentrate on the present moment cherish the sun cherish the loving relationship cherish the beauty of the present live the present moment and try not to dwell on the past to allow you to have the spontaneity of the fool the unconditional joy of a child who just live by the moment enjoys every moment of their life this is a possible future you can avoid this by continuing this spirit that you have at the present moment if you continue this one you will be able to bring this into your future and prevent this possible future wherein you feel miserable and guarded and less trusting no. so in the end i feel if you would just continue your present energy you will end up again with the six cups <laughs> uh, the six cards no well, very interesting reading i never expected it to turn out to be like this okay now let us see what is the message of the universe for you so yeah you have the possible future of being miserable because you would be there's a temptation for you to always look back to your past experiences but if you continue your present energy wherein you are enjoying the unconditional love you are receiving in your present work in present work situation or friendship or love then you can continue it to the future it can be the future you can choose your future uh, oftentimes there is that danger that if you would just rely on the reading you might end up with uh, a future that you can choose not to follow you have the gift of free choice wailing tree reconciliation <laughs> okay i get a feeling that your past might come back to you asking for reconciliation wailing tree it's as if please take me back it seems that you will be in a situation where you have to choose between your present situation now and your past it's as if it makes you see here a person in anguish there's a possibility it makes me feel that there's a possibility that this past will be coming back to your life and you will be in a situation of trying to weigh things will you hold on to this new situation that you have 
because if this is a working situation maybe the old company will try to win you back he said you, the door is still open if you want to come back you can come back to us okay the friendship will be like that also maybe it's because they realize what they have lost they realize when they saw you blooming in this new situ in the new situation or whether it be a loving new loving relationship or a new working relationship or new school you know, uh, when they see that you are flourishing they realize what they have lost and they are reaching out to you wailing oh, please come back to us please come back to my life and now you, in the near future there might be a tendency for you to try to decide to weigh things should i continue with this sunny present situation i am in or should i go back to my past okay wow this is going to be a challenge for you i suggest you listen to the spirit and you listen to your heart listen to yourself because you will know what is best no but do not be in a hurry take time these are things that can affect your future so please take time self-worth okay what i feel right now is that whatever decision you will take whatever choice you will make in the end just make sure that you will not lose your self-worth make sure that you will have this sword that you will say okay if you choose to go back to the old situation or old relationship make sure that you will tell the, the old relationship or the old situation i expect equal equal treatment i do not want any more a relationship that is not balanced okay i am a gemini i am i want an equal balance in things okay so something like that so if if you if you are going back if you choose to go back to your past you no know, uh, to your past situation or past relationship make sure that you preserve your self-worth you expect equal sharing allow the spirit to enlighten you to speak out you, know? you see here a person who is covered by them it's as if this person cannot speak <laughs> makes me think of a person who cannot speak it can be in this relationship you are just quiet even if you feel that you are shortchanged in the relationship you are quiet okay so if you are going back if you choose to go back to the relationship you need to remove this mask and allow yourself to be able to speak stop uh, do not cover your mouth and keep quiet no expect you need to speak out and ask for your self-worth this is what i'm feeling right now no? but you are very observant you see the eyes it's really looking straight to the eye it's as if saying i need honesty i need truth i need equal balance no so even if you are not this person is not is quiet no not speaking it seems that the eyes are the ones who are speaking for this person the eyes yes the eyes when you look at the eyes of a person sometimes if the person is not doing uh, what is honest they are doing shady things immediately they will look down or look away from you because the eye of this person is exacting honesty and equality okay so it's not only the mouth that speaks but also the eyes hmm. yeah it's, it's as if i'm being corrected also you can be quiet but at the same time expect equal treatment hmm. interesting huh ah. every day i learn new things from the universe okay so okay so make sure no if you decide to go back okay if you are if you decide to stay in this present situation no no problem this this present situation gives you unconditional love if you will not accept self-worth this is what will happen to you okay now let us see what is the message from our archangels okay all is well okay everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to okay with hidden blessings you will soon understand okay so even if you are undecided right now don't worry they say all is well if if there are there are some hidden blessings that you will receive and later on you will understand but at this present time you are confused you no know? 
I would also be confused if I were in your place. I mean, you have two choices, and uh, you want this one because this is very beautiful. But there's something in the past that holds you. I don't know what it is. You know that I do not know what it is. But it's as if the angels are assuring. Even if you are undergoing this this struggle right now, all is well. So, just listen. Listen to the spirit. Be observant as this person. And make sure that what, wherever you are going, just make sure. You always make sure that you will receive equal, equal treatment. And if you receive that one, whether you remain here, which is white, quite beautiful for me, it's quite beautiful, but I don't want to influence you, okay? You can turn this one, this one, this one, you can turn it also to something positive if you would just make sure that you, they respect you and you receive what you deserve, okay? You are a stronger person now than in the past, okay? Maybe that's the reason. No, you are a stronger person now. There is something new. No, so it's you're not the past person that they can just push around. No, no, not anymore. So maybe that's one of the reasons. So whatever choice you will make, as long as it's to make you happy, you have my support. Okay, and don't worry, you have the support of the universe. Okay, so you hear, you see here again, the spirit of the donkey. No. I, when I look at the donkey, I look at this one because when the donkey, hee -haw, hee -haw, when they make that sound, it makes people laugh, it makes people happy. You know? And uh, but this donkey is, uh, this donkey is like this one. I mean, uh, they carry the burden quietly, and they are very diligent. They are a person who is capable of giving unconditional love. You no, know? but you see here that this donkey, his head is bowed, as if. Okay, I will do it, but I'm not happy because it's heavy. Okay, something like that. This is what I'm looking at it because this this donkey has the capacity. You see, her heart chakra is blooming. No? So this donkey has the, the capacity to give unconditional love, to be patient, to really give. No? But then again, when the donkey doesn't like something, they kick. And when they kick, it really hurts. No, So... That's the beauty here. You are really capable of giving love, no? Uh, but yeah, you are a bit, little bit guarded. No? You say, okay, okay. I, I, I am willing to give unconditional love, but make sure that you give it back in me in return, or else I'm going to kick you. <laughs> Something like that. No? Uh, you already have, yeah. Uh, you already have this boundary. At the same time, you demand equality now. This is what I feel with the donkey spirit right now. You are capable of loving. You are capable of carrying a lot of burdens. But uh, if if it does not satisfy you, you are willing to kick them out. Okay, so something. This is the thing that is coming to me right now. Okay, so you are more guarded right now. You seem to be more mature right now. So if you choose to go back to your past, I think it will not be the same picture as what happened here. Maybe that's the reason why the angels are saying, don't be afraid, everything is okay. Okay, so... There's a choice between you. Whatever choice you make, somebody will will lose. I mean, if you choose to be here, then of course this one will be disappointed. Somebody will be disappointed. If you choose to continue with this new situation, then this one will be disappointed. If you choose to go back to the past, then of course this will be disappointed. But this one has the capacity to let go. Why? Because they have the capacity of giving unconditional love. With here, there is security. The sun is shining. Everything is transparent. You are secure. This one, well, it's a little bit like that. But uh, you have the choice. We have the choice to do it. No? It's just that I feel, no? if you look back on the past, this might come. Sleepless nights guardedness you will lose there is a possibility that you might lose the spontaneity spontaneity this childlike character this joy you know this place of 
the ten of cups. No? <laughs> it's like a, I feel like a trying, like a salesman trying to convince somebody. No, I don't want to convince anyone. You have your freedom of choice. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you have to make the choice. It's yours. It's choice you have to make. Well, you are a Gemini. You, you are. You have this certain gift to balance things. Uh, you have the creativity to make things flourish. Well, whatever decision you make, the beautiful thing is the assurance that the angels are give, giving. No, all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. Now, if this resonates with you, I think you will know what this message means. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Uh, it's between you and the universe now. I uh, I can only see a little. It's like, you know, uh, it's like uh, I can only see one step, one possibility. The rest, it's between you and the universe. These are secret to me already. <clears throat> Just be aware of the presence of the divine. And let the divine guide you one step at a time. And uh, all will be well. Okay? I could only go to a certain limit afterwards no more well I hope this reading helped you uh, maybe in the future when we do other readings maybe things will get clearer no. but don't worry to make mistake be adventurous like the fool don't be afraid to make mistake okay just hmm suddenly what came to me is okay try this one but uh, don't close the other one Continue. I mean, uh, just, I mean, uh, it's unfair to make commitments to two. It's like, uh, it's like creating a third person situation. That's not a good thing also. Because you will make the other person, you will destroy also the other person or the other, this right situation because they will feel that you are, bal you are trying to do things at the same time. It, it's not a healthy thing. You will destroy also someone who is very very loving and spontaneous you have to be honest you have to make the choice and you have to be honest when you make the choice you you have to tell them or else it will be very hard for you also because you will be juggling things no oh yeah that would be not a healthy situation you i guess you will have to make a choice between the two ah well yeah, these things i i i leave to you and the divine allow the divine to guide you this is a little bit complicated already uh, I think I shouldn't be entering on this part anymore I'm just telling you right now what are the possibilities that might happen based on the energies that I am getting right now I don't know what is going to happen afterwards I think I should be up to this one only just uh, trust that everything will be well okay well that's it for you gemini i hope it has helped you and um you have my loving energy and my prayers you make it through i also believe in what the universe says that all is well things will fall into the place we the lord makes all things well for those who love him just continue on trusting and loving the divine and all will be well that's it for now god bless and continue to have a beautiful life